Today, Chico and I are going to show you how to design your own mad scientist laboratory. The first thing you do is you're going to get a piece of paper. You're going to write your name on your paper. Then we we'll want you to do a, a straight line across the bottom of your paper. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Next, you can start drawing some potion bottles across your paper. I recommend using really light pencil marks so you can easily go back and erase anything that you don't like. I'll draw a round bottle right here. They're kind of longer beacon bottle right here. Some kind of tube and another bottle up here that's maybe connected to the bottle next to it. And then a beacon, I can draw kind of a beaker. beaker. I can draw a beaker bottle right here. Next to that, I'm gonna draw a couple other bottles. There's such a huge variety of bottles and you can make them up. You can be really imaginative. Circular shape. I'm going to connect this to another potion bottle that's right next to it. And I have room for one more on the end. Now that I've finished drawing my potion bottles, I'm going to go back and outline everything in black Sharpie. Go back and erase any pencil marks. Once you've outlined your different laboratory bottles, you're ready to start adding watercolor. You're going to need a brush, um, a half a cup of water, tissue, and your watercolor plate. Now you might want to start, if your, your watercolor plate's probably dry, so you might want to start by just picking up some water in your brush and adding a little bit of it to each of those colors to make just get start getting them a little bit wet. So for this one, I'm gonna choose some green. I'm gonna pick up some green here and I'm gonna paint whatever kind of potion or liquid kind of going straight across in my bottle. And then maybe some crazy chemical reaction is happening that's causing this color to explode upwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more water and some more paint, and I'm gonna put it, put a puddle, kind of a puddle of it down where I've added my water. Then I'm going to take a straw and I'm gonna blow it upwards and see what happens. So I want the water to kind of be exploding out of the outside of the tube. And what I can do is I can go back and I can add even more, more of that green color there. So I have more liquid to blow out the top. And I could even kind of add some going upwards like this. If I really want to have a crazy, like if I want it to kind of plume out the top, I can add puddles of this green. And I might need to add some more water. Add puddles of this green going all the way up like a giant plume. Now while there's still nice thick puddles on your paper, you can take your straw and start blowing it different directions. So I blew it that way, now maybe I wanna blow it this way too. So practice blowing it in different angles and directions. When you're switching colors, I want you to practice having a tissue available on your brush. Anytime you want to change colors, I want you to pinch the brush and then windshield wiper it. And you can dip it in the water 
and again pinch it and windshield wiper it. And this helps prevent us from pouring paint down the drain, which just ends up in our oceans. So it's a nice way to kind of help prevent paint from going down the drain. So I'm ready to switch colors now. I'm gonna pick up some water and I'm gonna move over to an orangish reddish color. Maybe when it comes out of here, it's turning colors and it's turning into a red color. So I'm gonna pick up some red, I'm gonna add some water to it and blow it downwards. So keep switching angles And I'm gonna fill that potion bottle maybe to right here, so straight color across. And then maybe this water can be kind of bubbling up as well, up through. So I'm gonna actually have my water level go higher than that. Have my water level go up to here and then kind of be bubbling into here and changing colors as it mixes with the orange and change colors. Okay, and then maybe I want some of that purple also to come up and explode over the top. So I can do that. I can kind of make a, a large puddles of plumes moving upwards. You want a lot of water and a lot of liquid in this so that when you blow it with a straw, there's a lot of liquid. So I'm going in kind of two different directions here, maybe three, kind of forking outward. And then I'm gonna use a straw and see what I can, what I can get out of that. Yeah, I want some blowing back down this way, so I'm gonna turn my paper like this and blow some of that out over that direction. And that's okay if it goes off your paper a little bit, you can just wipe that up. Okay, now I'm gonna mix a turquoise color in the lid of my watercolor. So I picked up some blue paint and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna pinch my brush out, get some water and pinch and windshield wiper. And then I'm gonna go maybe one more time, pinch windshield wiper. And I'm gonna grab, pick up some green now that my brush is clean. I'm gonna pick up some green paint, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna pinch off my brush, windshield wiper. I'm gonna pick up some more water here. And I'm gonna stir these two colors together. Wow, look how beautiful that is. And I'm gonna try something a little different with this potion. I'm gonna try to have my water level go straight across right here. But then I want it to be kind of look like it's bubbling or boiling over. So with, I'm gonna take my straw and I'm going to put it in, in my dip it like that. And I'm gonna dip it in my paint like this. I'm gonna go over here and stamp it. And I'm gonna try that a number of times and see what happens. And you can have your bubbles bubbling up into the potion bottle above it. So as my potion moves up into this bottle, I'm gonna have it change to kind of more of a blue color. And some blue. And then some of that blue is gonna be pouring down into this potion bottle. Maybe changing colors again. Bubbles. If this is wet enough, you can also stamp your straw right in the right in the water there, the paint, the wet paint. OK, 
kind of got to do it a lot of times. Eventually it will start to look very bubbly if you're patient enough. So notice how wet that paint is. And I just keep dragging, stamping those bubbles up. From here, just gonna turn into red. Maybe I'll get some kind of purple as that color changes. And my water level can be about right here. Now I wanna try something a little different this time. I wanna try splattering with my brush. So I'm gonna take a little extra water in here. I'm gonna pick it up with my brush. I'm gonna hold my brush and I'm gonna flick it upwards. So I'm gonna hold my brush with a lot of the red paint in it, hold it right here. And I'm gonna flick it upwards like that. So you gotta kinda, of, the direction you're going is important. So I'm holding it near this water and near this color and I'm flicking it upwards. Oh. You're flicking on the metal part of the brush. Okay. All right, thanks. So I'm gonna have my water, my liquid kind of dripping out from here. Maybe it's gonna be turning orange in here. So it's kind of dripping, can be dripping, pouring down. And then I wanted to demonstrate the bubbles again. So while your paint is still really wet, you can take the straw, clean end of the straw, and just stamp it. Drag that paint upwards, stamping it. Step, 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 like that. So I'm dipping it in the color and then I'm dragging it up and it's creating this look of bubbles bubbling up. Last one, I thought I'd try something different and do some kind of mysterious black potion that's smoking and possibly on fire. And then maybe there's some flames and smoke kind of coming up and out. You can add little bits of maybe red to the to that to give like a look of kind of fire, flames, a bit of orange. 